Hi, welcome to Muscle Building Shorts. Today we're going to show you a complete full body weight workout you can do using parallel bars. Okay, so before we get started in this full body workout, we're going to start warming up some of the muscles that we'll be using today. So let's start with the bicep and forearms. For the forearms, mainly we're going to do some lightweight reverse grip curls. They want to do a couple of sets of these, as well as a couple of sets of supinated bicep curls. Supination is when you turn the wrist inwards, that activates the bicep. And we're just doing it using light weight here. This is just to get the blood flowing. For the tricep muscles, take a couple of light dumbbells, stick it behind your head, give it a nice stretch, and you're just basically bringing it up the top. It's a good dynamic way of getting the muscles all warmed up and the blood flowing. Now to warm up the shoulders, a couple things you could do. You can either do some light dumbbell shoulder presses. You don't have to hold it out to here. Just anywhere where it's comfortable. Again, we're just trying to get the muscles warmed up. Since we are going to be using parallel bars, another way I like to warm up the shoulders is just to use my legs to balance my weight, but just kind of lean in, give the, the shoulders a bit of a stretch, as well as the, the chest, with allowing that stretch to happen. This is before we're going to put our full body weight on to some of the exercises. To warm up the legs, I just like to, again, use some light dumbbells. Hold them any way it feels comfortable for you. I like to hold them up here like this. And I'll just do some squats. So just some lightweight squats. Get the blood flowing into the quads and the glutes. A little bit of the hamstrings and calves. But mostly the quads. And you can just do a couple sets of 10 of these. So now that we're going to start the workout, I like to alternate between a pulling exercise and a pushing exercise. So we're going to start off with some inverted rows using two parallettes and using a hammer grip or a neutral grip. We're going to try to do about 8 to 10 reps. So this exercise is mainly for the back, but of course there's a little bit of forearm and bicep involvement here naturally because it's a pulling movement so now switching over to a pressing exercise we're going to do a neutral grip chest press so we're using just one parallel bar here set up as shown go down slow get a nice stretch at the bottom You don't want to uh, worry about your elbows flaring out to the side. That means that you are actually doing more of a chest movement as opposed to if you kept your arms in tucked straight. That's more of a tricep, which you can do as well. But we want to do chest right now so elbows can flare out. It's also working a bit of the front of the delts as well. Okay, so now we're going back to a pull-up exercise. And this time we're just going to use one parallel. Last time we did neutral grip with two parallels. This time we're just going to do an overhanded pull-up. Or an inverted row. Again, this is a back movement. But you're getting a lot of forearm involvement. So you're getting a lot of the top side of the forearm involved. Of course, with any kind of inverted row, if you want to make it more challenging, you can put your feet up on a bench, like what we're going to do here. Try to bring your middle of your chest right up to the bar if you can.
So now we're going to move along to one of the more challenging push exercises to do with parallel bars, and that is the body weight dip. Now there's two kinds of dips you can do. You can do a tricep dip or a chest dip. And the main difference is with the tricep dip, you're trying to keep your body as vertical, upright as possible, and keeping your elbows in closer to the body when you go to going down. That emphasizes the triceps more. If you want to emphasize the chest more, you allow your body to lean forward and your elbows flare out a little bit. Not only will that work the triceps and the chest mainly, but it also will spill over to the front delts. So let's, I'm going to first show you the tricep version. So again, elbows closer to the body and the body more upright. Sometimes people ask me, you know, how far down should I go? You want to go down to the point that the, the back of the arm is horizontal, so parallel to the parallel bars, if you will. If you're going that, that far up, you've gone too far, you're going to put too much stress on your shoulders, or if you only go up to this point, you're not really doing a full range of motion. So let's do that again. Again, this is the tricep variety. So see the back of my arm is now parallel to the parallel bars? That's as far as you want to go down. Okay, now we're going to do the chest version. You might not see a whole lot of difference, but I'm going to try to lean forward a little bit more, and I'm going to allow my elbows to flare out a little bit. And I definitely feel it a lot more right here. Now, normally when you think about parallel bars, you don't think about doing leg exercises. They seem to be represented more for upper body. But some people, myself included, sometimes have balance issues, especially when you're getting a little bit older. I'm in my mid-50s. So when I want to do something such as the split squat, sometimes I need to have something to stabilize me so that I can still do the exercise without worrying about losing my balance. It'd be a shame to skip out on something like split squats, which is an awesome quad uh, muscle exercise uh, just because of balance. So I'm going to show you how you use parallettes just to help you stay stable while you perform the split squat. So parallettes in front of the bench, one leg up on the bench, just holding this for support. Not really, not, I'm not trying to carry my weight here. It's just to kind of balance me a little bit. Now I can perform these 100% stable. This is especially handy once you start adding extra weight, such as if I wanted to have a dumbbell on one hand. In this particular case, I can either use, just put my hand on one side of the parallel only, forming it like this. Or another option would be to just use one in front of me, such as here. So earlier I showed you the inverted row with an overhanded grip, your hands out about shoulder width. This time I'm going to show you an underhanded, which is going to target the biceps more. So when you put your hand placement there, it's going to be a supinated grip, as well as you can be shoulder width or just a little bit more narrow, put more emphasis on the biceps. If you're just starting off and you don't have a lot of bicep strength, of course, you can always have your feet flat on the ground, such as this. You are pretty strong. You can just have your legs fully out. That's going to put more of your body weight on your biceps. And of course, if you want to do more advanced, that's when we would put your feet up on a bench. Try to bring your chest all the way up to the bar. Hold and give it a little bit of a squeeze. Very much an advanced movement, but very effective for the biceps. Now back to a pressing movement. This is all triceps here. So 
So we'll place one parallel on the ground as such. Put our hands back, legs out. Try to keep your elbows in. Of course, we can't forget the ab muscles, and parallel bars are perfect for this. We're going to do a standard knee raise. So you're going to prop yourself up on the parallel bars, like as if you're going to do a dip. But instead of doing a dip, you're simply going to bring your knees up. You want them to be parallel with the parallels. Little hold. 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 So that concludes our parallel bar workout for today. Of course, there are other exercises we can do, and I will show you those in later videos. One uh, thing I wanted to leave you with, and this is very important. You may already have a set of parallel bars, or you may be thinking of purchasing a set. And you'll notice that some are like mine, where they have shorter legs on one side versus the other, whereas some other ones are evenly, uh, the, the footing is the even length on both sides. Either uh, type of set is fine. It's just that you always want to test out the exercise before pull, putting full body weight or even added extra weight on there. Because the reason why these are offset is sometimes certain exercise, you need more leverage to be on the front of the parallel versus the back. Like for instance, in here, if I was to do a dip, it would be perfectly fine. The longer lengths are on the outside, there's no chance, no chance of the bar pushing outwards as I push down. In other particular exercises, such as when I was doing the chin-up, if I had the bar set up like this, the bar would definitely pull forward. So I had to flip it around to have the longer length on this side to match my body weight. Anyway, parallel bars are great. I suggest you get into them. Just be safe, and hopefully some of these exercise tips will help get you on your way. Thanks for watching.